Don't assume everything's bad. Don't assume everything is going wrong with someone. I feel sorry for you. For the people that feel like just because you're not communicating with somebody on a platform means y'all not friends. Your mind is like this. You know what I'm saying? That That's what your mind is. And you can get mad if you want, if the shoe fits. Where? The other day, I fainted while I was driving. I was like, oh shit. I had to fucking wake myself up so I did not pass out fully. I, I, I felt it. I have a very strong grandma, right? So that shit is in my genes. <clears throat> this is my channel. This is between me and y'all. Me and y'all. So please. Stop trying to drag me and Tori's friendship. It won't happen. That's my dog. She's very healthy. She's very alive. She's a grown ass woman. And if she decides she want to upload, she can. And if she decides that she won't, she don't have to. Understand that. So where is Tori? Tori at the beach. I was set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen But now I'm gunning for redemption I want redemption I want it, I got it I want redemption What's up y'all, it's your girl Need G, the host And I know I know what you guys came here for It has to be one reason and one reason only Where's Tori? Alright? Alright, so Start drinking my juice I'm gonna start the video by saying Hello y'all my name is Nick G, the host. I have a channel called Royalty's World, and this is the channel that I run, and it's mine. Um, this channel was founded about, what, three years ago? Um, I started it, me and Jay, actually, and um, Jay uh, uh, ventured out, got her own channel, you know what I'm saying, and she's popping now. Make sure you go subscribe, Jay Vibes, all right? And um, that's where this channel came from, right? Just letting you know whose who's channel it is. So, boom, I have a best friend. Right? Her name is Tori. Right? That's why y'all here, because y'all know where Tori is. All right, bet. Just let me get to it. So, boom. Tori, me and Tori went to high school together and shit, right? Now, me and Tori have been saying we've known each other for 16 years, but Tori, I just want you to know that we've known each other for, I believe, 14 and a half. So, almost 15, but we still gonna go with 16 years. It's not gonna change. So, We've known each other for almost 16 years now. I think I was 15. Tori was probably like, yeah, no, I was probably 16 and Tori was 14, I believe. But every time I turn an age, she turns an age. So it's almost like one year apart, kinda. You know what I'm saying? So like right now she's 28, I'm 29, but I'm about to be 30. So, you know what I'm saying? Where's Tori? So boom, we went to high school together and shit, right? And when Tori came to high school, now, everybody just thought Tori was the prettiest thing in the world. At the time, Tori did not have the haircut that she has, nor did she have dreads. Tori had a uh, little doobie wrap, you know what I'm saying? We called them doobie wraps back then. Y'all probably call it a blowout or, or, or I don't fucking know. But anyway, she had great hair. I had great hair too. So we just kind of got along with the hair, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit out the window, bring it back in, boom. That's some good hair, you know what I'm saying? It come right back together. So. Where's Tori, right? Okay, so, boom. Me and Tori <clears throat> was playing basketball together, y'all. And let me tell y'all something. Tori ass, <laughs> when she used to, like, go up for a rebound, Tori would catch the ball, but not catch her feet. You know what I'm saying? So she would always land on her legs, on her ass. Her legs would be like these, like right leg that way. And her fucking, this leg is bent. And she on her knee or something because she could never find her feet, right? Where's Tori? So that shit happened. Um, you know what I'm saying? We became really, really close. You know what I'm saying? Tori told me who her first um her first girlfriend, not girlfriend, the first girl that she liked or had a crush on. And I was like, bro, why? You know what I'm saying? I still Tor why? <laughs> I still feel that way. Um, because the crush that, that girl, anyway. Crush just wasn't a good crush. But then she ended up getting a girlfriend, her first girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? I was there for her first kiss with the girl, you know what I'm saying? Um, then she got a second girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? She actually did a couple of nasty things with her 
while her whole knee was falling off. You get what I'm saying? And she had a concussion, I think. You know what I'm saying? I was there. I was there when Tori had a concussion and she didn't even know who the fuck I was for a second. You know what I'm saying? It was a second. But she didn't know who I was. That's what matters. That didn't, I didn't like that. You know, that didn't feel good. You know what I'm saying? It was terrible. Terrible feeling. Um, where is Tori? So, you know, I don't think we told y'all about the time that, you know what I'm saying, we had to sneak and do like some fucking, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, inspector gadget, um, just duck and dodge, uh, whatever you call it, to this girl crib. You know what I'm saying? No, to Tori's house. Me and her ex had to do it to Tori's house so Tori can hit the cheeks. Wow, um, we was waiting on to play the game because that was exam week. Where's Tori, right? All right, so, um, I mean, what happened after that? I got Tori her first pair of pants. Her first pair of boy pants. She fucking did not have no boy pants. She had to sneak and wear boy pants with me because her mama, she was scared to let her mama know that she was a stud. Although, Tori has a picture when she was like fucking two, where she ha don't have a shirt on, and she looked like a whole little boy. You know what I'm saying? It's even, it's at her mama house. Y'all should see it. But, um, but where's Tori? Okay, okay, let me get to it. So, boom. That happened. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I got her first pair of pants. And when I got up there, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't even drink. We really wasn't even legal. You know what I'm saying? But her peoples had got us drunk as fuck. You know what I'm saying? We was like, you know so boom we spent the night there left drove back in the rain came back with four flats how that happen and if, if i'm exaggerating i know it was at least two if not three you know what i'm saying i had fucking locked y'all i had a debit card i had some money bought toy first pair of pants remember got drunk drove back on flats i left my damn debit card in the atm couldn't get that hoe back to Monday. It was what? Sunday. So I had to ask her mama, like, mom, can you please? Did you hear me say mom? Can you please get me some um <clears throat> give me some money? I need tires, but I just need you to give me that money right now and I get that money back to mom. And she said, okay. She didn't even interrupt me while I was talking, which she never does. She just said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. So that's what happened with that, right? But where is Tori? Okay, um, I'm getting to it. <coughs> so boom, after that, what else happened? Hmm. We had worked a couple jobs, you know what I'm saying? Tori started, um, oh, we started throwing parties and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, throwing parties and shit, that shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, we did it as long as we could. Because, you know what I'm saying, the people we was working with fucked it up, is how I feel. Uh, anyway, but that shit was dope. It was fun. You know what I'm saying? Tori was working on her graphics then. That's the first time she really, really, really was working on her graphics because she actually went to Tucker, uh, T Tuskegee. Tori went to Tuskegee, which is a black college in Alabama. She went to Tuskegee to be a, um, she wanted to like build buildings or build the, build the, not contracts, but build the, I don't know what it's called, nigga. Build that shit to be a contractor, uh, to, to build the buildings, whatever that's called, okay? Tori was fucking on too many girls, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't, she wasn't on her schoolwork and shit. So, um, you know, she got the hell out of school. She didn't want to be there anymore. Tori had to come to my house after she got caught having sex with one of our friends by her mama. You know what I'm saying? He had to stay with me for a little while, then boom. I, we got kicked out of the apartment I was in. And then I had to go back to her mama's house. Shit crazy. Where's Tori though? Um, what else? I mean, we've done so much. Recently. I'm just go to recent. I'm just gonna hit and skip everything else because we've done so much. I'm gonna skip everything else. Start with YouTube. <coughs> I told Tor. <coughs> Tori said she ain't wanna work a job no more. I said Beth. Let's get your ass on YouTube. She said, Ben, started doing fucking videos together. The point was to do videos together. Create her channel. Build her channel up. Tour do videos on her own. On her own channel. Which is at YSMITV. 28,000 subscribers, by the way. Did it in a couple months. Shout out to all y'all. Did it in a couple of months, right? We also have a channel called Roy Reacts. Well, I had a channel called Roy Reacts. I brought Tori along. We was doing videos together, right? Then, 
Nigga, life started happening. I mean, hell, I'm about to turn 30. My, my fucking mind is my mind like this. I mean, can you imagine? Me and Jay don't go together anymore. Shout out to Jay. I have so much respect for her. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Jay. And I love her. Then Tori got her own channel. Jay at 24, maybe 25. Tori at 28. Okay. Roy reacts. I'm like, I can't figure out how to get this money off this channel. I cannot figure out how to get this money off this channel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The money was, y'all, I was fucking some shit up. It was a simple step. Tori figured it out. Told me, but I didn't really listen. Then I figured it out myself after like a couple months or so after that. Then figured out how to make the money. So then my channel starts acting up now. Now my channel is acting up. When I upload, sometimes it's like, bitch, it's an error. And it's because it's acting up with my monetized videos. Which, Roy Reacts was always a backup for that reason. Roy Reacts was a backup just in case Royalty's World crash. And it's still a backup just in case Royalty's World crash. Where is Tori? I want y'all to know something. Keep asking the same fucking question. I've known Tori for 16 years. We're going to go there. You will never, ever, ever hear me come on the internet and say anything remotely bad at all about Tori. Y'all want it so bad, you itching for it. Y'all fell out, y'all fell off bad. What happened to y'all? Y'all fell off real bad. Tori alive as fuck. She kicking like a motherfucker. She dealing with life too. You ever thought about that? Me and Tori are best friends. You can't go through all that shit I just named and more and just cut everything off. Fuck you. I hate you. I'm not ever talking to you no more. We not friends. It's not happening. <laughs> you want it so bad though, don't you? Y'all want us to fall out so bad, don't you? Even after we start recording for a week, niggas was like, Oh, y'all fall out? Y'all fell out? Nah. We didn't, actually. People are adults. People have differences. But if you think I would ever bring that to the internet and talk about a nigga that I've known for 16 years, bad? It ain't happening. That's my dog. You get what I'm saying? It ain't happening. And guess what? Ain't nothing bad happening. Nothing bad has happened. Nothing. Everything is all good. I got shit to do. Jay got shit to do. Tori got shit to do. The whole point was to grow everyone's channel. And guess what? That's what we did. Tori at 21, 28. Jay at 24, 25. And I'm where I am. The job is done. We did what we were supposed to do. Now, if y'all feel like Tori don't upload enough and all that, well, you got to talk to her about that. But let me tell y'all something. YouTube was never anybody else's dream but mine. So if Tori don't want to upload, she don't have to. You get what I'm saying? This wasn't her dream. It's mine. But how about y'all go send a kind word to her? Like, hey, why aren't you uploading? I, I want you to upload. I want to see your videos. Something since you're so worried. But people go through life. Just cause she's not uploading don't mean she dead. Don't mean we fell out. Don't mean she got anything bad going on. It means that she's not uploading. <laughs> ah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? But on Royce's world, I still got a job to do. I upload. That's what I do. This is my channel. This is between me and y'all, me and y'all, so please, stop trying to drag me and Tori's friendship. It won't happen, that's my dog. She's very healthy, she is very alive. She's a grown ass woman. And if she decides she wanna upload, she can. And if she decides that she won't, she don't have to. Understand that. So where's Tori? Tori at the beach. 
Living her best life. Tori's at the beach. Living her best life. I just came from Atlanta. Y'all see what I'm saying? We grown. We got shit to do. So go hit up Tori. Tell her you love her. You get what I'm saying? At YSMI TV. Okay? She got a whole channel. She got a whole Instagram. That's popping. You not you won't fuck up our friendship. It's not happening. <laughs> Stop. Give it up. Okay. To the ones that really support both of us, I love you all. Okay. I appreciate you so much. If you got anything negative to say, put your negative ass comment in the pen comment. And maybe I'll address it and maybe I won't. Well, I feel like I'm on my spiritual soul shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to spiritual soul. I like spiritual soul. But anyway, um, I've seen a whole nother life. A whole nother light. That bitch like, dang, it, it, it just it just went off one day. You know what I'm saying? And I think that has everything to do with hitting 30. I'm on a quest to make me the best me that I possibly can be. Me! You know what I'm saying? And I'm focusing on me, right? As everybody should. You all should focus on yourself. When you put so much energy into everybody else, you lose you. You get what I'm saying? I was losing me. That's what y'all don't know. Some do, some don't. But I was losing me. I don't like that. Terrible feeling. Horrible feeling. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and get this little bit of story time out the way before I end this video. The other day, I fainted while I was driving. I was like, oh shit. I had to fucking wake myself up so I did not pass out fully. I, I, I felt it. I have a very strong grandma, right? So that shit is in my jeans. <clears throat> Passed out, bro. Dry. All I was doing was drinking alcohol, stressed the fuck out, and I just could not get right. <laughs> was not working out, wasn't drinking no water, wasn't doing nothing. Passed the fuck out. And that's when I, that's when it really hit me. It's been fucking with me a lot has been like, Yo, you need to get yourself together. You need to get yourself together. It's like a voice, my nigga, for real. You need to get yourself together. And then one day, I'm I'm about to faint behind the wheel. I said, yo. Ding. Bitch, you better get yourself together. You better get yourself together and you better do it right now. You hear me? For it won't be nothing to put together. You get what I'm saying? Everybody on their quest to be a better them. That's, that's what we working on. I can't speak for everybody else. I'm speaking for me. That's what I'm working on. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to the gym as soon as I'm done with this video. It's time for me to be a better me. It's time for me to look better. It's time for me to do better. I want to feel me. I want to give that glow. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to. That's what it's time for. That's what it's all about. So understand this. Now, everything is all about me for me. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody, but I lost me. I did. I lost me. I'm gonna save this for a story time. But I want y'all to know, don't assume everything's bad. Don't assume everything is going wrong with someone. I feel sorry for you. For the people that feel like, just cause you're not communicating with somebody on a platform means y'all not friends. Your mind is like this. You know what I'm saying? That. That's what your mind is. And you can get mad if you want, if the shoe fits. Where? Your mind is big, if that's what you think. You won't get it from me. You won't get it from me. But to the people that support, I love y'all so much, man. I'm about to go to the gym. <sighs> Trying to figure out if I'm gonna start vlogging this gym shit. But y'all, let me know if you want the vlogs. But. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. See you next video. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, 
I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.